Good day everyone, I'm your Mr. ATL and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we're going to solve some problems involving simple and compound interest. So example number one, how much interest is charged when 20,000 pesos is borrowed for two years at an annual interest rate of 3%? So, since it is not indicated that it is compounded interest, we will use the simple interest formula where the value of I is equal to P times R times T. So, the given there, the principal amount is 20,000 pesos. Okay, so the annual interest rate is 3% in decimal that is um, 0 0.03 and then time is 2 years so let us use this formula that is I equals um, 20,000 pesos times the rate 0 0.03 times your time is 2 years so we will get 1000 pesos times 0 0.03 times 2 we will get 1200 pesos so that is the interest 1200 pesos mark invested money at an annual rate of 5% which earned 37500 pesos of simple interest in 10 years how much money was originally invested? Okay, so let us write the given first here. So as you can see, um, we are trying to find out the principal amount. Since how much money was originally invested is the question. And then the rate of interest, that is 5% or 0 0.05. And then time is 10 years so we will find the interest so there is also a given value for the interest which is 37,500 pesos okay so let us now derive a formula from I equals to PRT and then solving for P divide it both sides by RT so we will have that the value of, that the value of P is equal to I over RT so let us substitute now the value of I and also R and T so P is equal to the value of I is 37,500 pesos over R 0.05 and then multiply by t which is 10 okay so using our calculator so again that is um, 37,500 divided by um, 0 0.05 times 10 so the answer will be 75,000 pesos so therefore um, Mark invested 75,000 pesos and the interest is 37,500 pesos. He earned this money within 10 years with an annual rate of 5%. Okay? Okay, so let us go to the problem number 3. How long will 30,000 pesos amount to 45,000 pesos if the simple interest rate is 10% per annum? Okay, so let us identify the given first. Okay, so how long, meaning to say, we are looking for time in years. Next, the rate is 10%. So R is 10% or in decimal, that is 0.1 or 0 0.1. And the next, so from 30,000, it became 45,000. So therefore, our principal will be 30,000 pesos. 
and the future value or F is 45,000 pesos. So to find the interest given the principal and the future value, we will subtract them. So I equals to the future value minus the principal that is 45,000 pesos minus the 30,000 pesos so therefore the interest there is 15,000 pesos but we are looking for the value of t in years so to do that given the formula again i equals to p r t let us solve for t so let's divide this by p and r so this will be cancelled then the value of t will be i over p times r since our i is 15,000 pesos our p is 30,000 pesos and the rate is 0 0.1 the value of t will be let's use the calculator so that is uh, 15,000 pesos divided by 30,000 times 0 0.1 so the answer will be 5 so therefore the answer is 5 years ok ok problem number 4 at what simple interest rate per annum will 150,500 pesos accumulate to 210,700 pesos in 20 years so identify the given first so we have um 150,500 pesos turned into 210,700 pesos so meaning to say our principal amount is the 150,500 pesos and the future value will be 200, 210,700 pesos and to find the interest let's subtract them so we have 150,500 minus 210,700 will be 60,200 pesos okay and then time is 20 years and then we will look for the rate or R in percent okay so let us solve so given the formula that I equals to PRT solving for R divided both sides by P and T so that this will be cancelled and we have the value of R that is I over P times T so the value of I is 60,200 the value of P is 150,500 and the value of T is 20 years and then solving for R let's use the calculator so we have um, 60,200 divided by 150,500 times 20 so the answer will be 0. 0 0.02 or in percent 1 2 it's 2 percent so the answer is 2 percent okay so problem number five the question here is what is the maturity value if 250,000 pesos is invested at 3.5 percent compounded annually for 15 years so at this point in time it is not all about the simple interest anymore since it is indicated that the 3.5 percent is compounded annually okay so in my previous video I have derived the formula for the uh, maturity value or the future value for for compound interest which is um, F is equal to P times 1 so the future value is equal to P times 1 plus R raised to T. So this is compounded annually for 15 years so the number of period is 1. So but it is for 15 years. 
So we have F is equal to P, our P is 250,000 pesos plus 1 plus 0 0.035 raised to 15. Okay, so 3.5% that is equivalent to 0 0.035 in decimal. So using our calculator, Okay, so we have 250,000 multiply by 250,000 multiply by uh, 1 plus 0 0.035 raised to 15. Okay, so the answer will be 418,837.21 pesos. So, meaning to say, your 250,000 will grow to 418,837.21 um, if you invest it with 3.5% for 15 years, compounded annually. Later on, I will be discussing you if the given problem is compounded semi-annually, quarterly, or even monthly. Okay, so let's go to the last example, number 6. Okay, number 6. How much money do you need in a time deposit in a bank that pays 5% interest rate compounded annually so that you will have 500,000 pesos after 5 years? Okay, so let us identify the given first. So as what you can see, 5% represents your rate. That is 5% or... 0 0.05 in decimal and then it's compounded annually so that you will have 500,000 pesos after 5 years our time in years is 5 years so 500,000 pesos represents your future value so let us write 500,000 pesos and we are looking for the principal value okay so from the formula f equals P times 1 plus R raised to T just solve for the value of P by dividing it both sides by 1 plus R raised to T so the same with this 1 plus R raised to T we can now cancel this term and this will become P equals to F over 1 plus R raised to T so let's substitute the given now so we have P equals to 500,000 that is for your F F is 500,000 over 1 plus R 0 0.05 raised to T which is 5 so using our calculator let us solve for the value of P so we have 500,000 divided by um, 1 plus point 0 0.05 raised to 5 okay it will give us 391,763.0832 pesos okay so if you are going to check our answer by substituting it to the formula which is 5 equals p times 1 plus r raised to t our F is 500,000 pesos. Let's make it 500K. Our P is 391,763.0832 multiply by 1.05 raised to 5. Since, um, since 1 plus 0 0.05 is 1.05, we can write it as 1.05. So multiply the the answer by 1.05 times 1.05 raised to 5 so the answer will be 500,000 pesos so since they are equal our answer is correct okay okay so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed learning about these problems involving simple and compound interest and before i end up my video i would like to give my special thanks to mr eldrian Plikan and i hope you learned something goodbye